I have a question for you. Have you ever struggled to de-seed a pomegranate? I know after so many years of doing it wrong, now that I've learned about using the skins as a natural dye or a tannin mordant, I actually spent time learning how to cut and de-seed a pomegranate. So today on Color Quest, we are going to learn about the skin itself and see the amazing color that it makes both for a dye matter as well as the power that it has in terms of creating a tannin mordant, which really helps with the bond, particularly for cotton and linen or cellulose fibers. But you're also gonna learn the most amazing way of how to cut and de-seed the pomegranate. Hi, I'm Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. As we enter this holiday season, pomegranate is everywhere. And I am super excited because having this fruit has allowed me to find a different way to improve the bond of natural dye with my cellulose fibers, but also to become really creative in how to use the seeds themselves. So although the seed can create stains on clothing, um, it is not a dye material that I would choose. I have found that fruits or vegetables that are high in sugar content don't often translate into the best dyes for fiber. So let's go peel this pomegranate and see what we can do with the skins themselves. Save those seeds and get really creative with how you might utilize them in your kitchen for cooking and drinks and so forth over the holiday season, wherever you are.
Pretty remarkable deep yellow color, isn't it? If you are going to simply use the skins for a tannin mordant, particularly on your cellulose fiber, all you need to do is let it soak for approximately an hour, as you saw in the video. However, you will note that it will change the color of your textile. Now, that will slightly alter the ultimate color of your dye, but as you will notice, the yellow in the mordant process is very, very light. If you'd like to use the dye matter of the pomegranate skin as a dye itself, all you need to do is increase the amount of dye matter that you use. So all I did in this video really was reuse the mordant water, save some of that material in the dye pot, and then add more skins so that I would get a darker color. I also left those in overnight, which you can always do with dyes. The longer they sit in the dye pot, the potential for getting a deeper color is possible. So try that out. It's also a great way to be recycling. Don't forget that you can save your morning water or your dye itself as long as you seal it and put it into the fridge. They will last quite a long time. Don't just throw things away after you use them once. You might be happily surprised with the results that you get a second, a third, and even a fourth time. So next time on Color Quest, we're gonna continue looking at holiday foods that we can use to create dye. And this time, let's see if we can actually get a red or a pink from a good old staple, and that is cranberry. I'm going to try on some of this pomegranate mordant material that I made this time to see if I can get a difference or a deeper color that may last longer. But let's see what we can use these cranberries for beyond stringing them for a Christmas tree or using them to make that wonderful cranberry sauce concoction that I know my mom used to make. So please join me next time on Color Quest as we continue to explore the amazing world of natural color. No. Okay, whatever. Yellow, yellow, yellow. What do I want to say about yellow?